Hello, welcome back. All right, I know I got the engine thingy for the ship, but when I play these kind of games, I don't really like leaving the side quest unfinished if I can help it. And I had to look up where this third book was at just to turn it into this dumbass. In luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Alright, well that one's done. Um, I think I got three more to do. Nope. Alright, to this one. There's a second side mission I got. Never finished it, might as well start now. Should I just run over there? I think I should just run over there. I mean, why bother fast traveling when the loading screens take just as long? I may have been exaggerating. I think this is this is way longer. Oh fuck! But you never know. I could fight some enemies on the way, get some more XP. I don't want this discovered. Wait. Oh no. Oh wow, these things are made of rocks? No, they're not made of rocks. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Just the way I saw it. Oh, another shotgun. More guns. All this crap around. All reliable. Oh, nice. Can I not? I can't run with this. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Silly me. Well, that's lame. I might have to end up fast traveling after all. Huh. 
Alright, screw it. I guess I'll turn in the book first. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm in the... What? I fast traveled to the wrong place. You're kidding. What the hell's going on? Oh. Mm. That's where I want to go. Building still in use. Ah, uh, I guess that makes sense. Shit. Guess I'm walking to this guy. Shouldn't be too bad. So I know my audio quality isn't the best. Especially if you're wearing earphones, you might hear this slight buzzing sound. But I actually ordered a new microphone. Instead of what I'm rocking right now. All the lights in town went out. Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. You took it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Either way, I'm fascinated. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. What? The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. <laughs> you don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. I would love wow. to discuss the finer points of my religion with you. Oh, wait. No, I wouldn't. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. Sacrifices? What the fuck is this? Is this... <laughs> French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Over, overreacting. Do you have any idea <laughs> how many years I spent in 
You couldn't possibly know, could you? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, this one. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. Cosmic retribution. Yes, you're right. Such are the workings of the equation. And I've only my own hubris to blame. I certainly never planned for this contingency. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. How? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a toss-ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. What the fuck? Why? Well... Understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Vickerly? Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? All right. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Bridgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Mm, Captain, yeah, I like that. Oh, I got more carrying space. Ah, oh, he needs a break. Bet I could fix him up smart. Searching for a repair bay, error, navigation systems fail. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. That's not bad work, mister. Have you done this before? Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Uh, okay. Spacer's Choice remind all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. That's it? No way that's it. 
That was ridiculously easy. I thought I was going to have to fight a whole bunch of robots. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. <laughs> Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Oh, great. Another loading screen. And this fucking moon guy again. Jesus. He's very unsettling to look at. You're not a big drinker, are you? Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical. Yeah, he already said that. Skip. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Thank God I've been there. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Mm -hmm. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic oh, I wonder module. Oh, I guess not. If you die horribly... I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Go on. Nope, got no questions. Oi. Fast traveling again. Terror ray biological overview. You see, I like I like these loading screens better. Than the advertisements, especially the one with that moon guy. Ugh. Oh no. I swear I'm gonna get nightmares from this dude. Probably get settling, staring into my soul. Oh, thank god. What is this? By ver
Okay, well this is this is bullshit. Hang on. Okay, I looted stuff with this guy. If the number changes And we know for sure something's up. Nope. What is that? What do I have it in my inventory? Doesn't say? It looks like a two card, 34 out of 40. Shit. It's just a mess, isn't it? What? I don't need this. 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 There we go. That's it. It's all weighing me down. I need to sell this. First chance I get. Maybe the next perk I get could be to sell to vendors. Ooh. Borrow a key card from the second floor. Handled beautifully. Did I get? I got something. I think it might have been what I needed. Give me just what I need. Killed everyone here. This guy's floating. <laughs> Oh, right, second floor. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the universal equation, also known as the grand plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. Got a better reason. Damn, there's nothing here. I wonder if there's any of these that rise my hacking skills. Guess not. You know, this, I mean, I know, it, it's propaganda. There's no doubt about that, but this, this is based on something I've seen. I just can't put my finger on it. Cannery's dead. This is going to throw a wrench into my actuarial tables. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Oh, well, that's one mission done. Let's hmm. all try this one again. Before I end this episode. I hate coming here. Son of a bitch. Oh well, well I guess... Guess I'll end it here. Maybe I'll look up how to fix it. In my free time. Until then, I'll see you... Later. Alright?